Dude, did I tell you this? I didn't tell you this. I got fucking summoned. Oh. <laughs> you got jury duty? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, have you been when? summoned before? Today. I just got it today. I've never gotten jury duty. Really? Give me that shit, man. How do I, like, not go? <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to like, have cancer or something? Yeah, we'll talk about it afterwards. Oh, no, no, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, ready? <laughs> really quick. Expected mother, not me. You sure? I don't think so. Do I look <laughs> it? Um, a parent not employed full-time with custody of child under the age of six. Definitely not me. You can convince some Russ of six. <laughs> Dude, Russ is looking like seven. <laughs> um. By the way, Russ is my brother. <laughs> Um, person 70 years of age older. <laughs> nope. That's literally put, what it says. I, I can make your hair look white. They're not going to believe that. I could kick in your kneecap. You could use a cane. I don't, that doesn't mean you're 70 by <laughs> default. Just means you have a fucked up knee, you idiot. <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance. Oh, 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 person with a physical or mental incapacity. <laughs> you're blind. <laughs> I wear glasses. Who is permanently incapable of caring for self or a person responsible? I could probably sell that. I wear glasses. I can't drive, and I lost my glasses. I'll make believe I'm your driver. You can call me Chives. Ooh, full-time law enforcement. I can't do that, can I? Get a job in the next 18 days. Full-time student. What's what's considered 40 hours of classes? What is a full-time student? Yep. <laughs> no one does that. Come with something. <laughs> All right. Anyway, yeah, that's what I wanted to share. <laughs> okay. And in three. Oh, two. shoot. Welcome to the Nerd Locker Podcast, your entertainment podcast for everything movies, television, video games, and more. My name is Adam. And I'm Oliver, I and guess. guys, we are going to be going over some random things. The first thing I want to bring up. Uh, so in this world of entertainment that we live in, there's something called copyrights. And a very important one on the first went public domain, and that was the Steamboat Willie version of yes. Mickey Mouse. It's now public domain. So guys, the original versions of Minnie and Mickey are now Oh, public both domain. Minnie too. Yep, are now public domain. Brah. I re- And I, this I is only the way it. that they look like in the 1939 movie Steamboat Willie. Mm-hmm. So they can't have the gloves and the certain colors and blah blah blah. It's got to be black and white. <clears throat> so, with that in mind, uh just like Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey. Brah. Someone had already filmed this movie and was waiting for January. So is Winnie the Pooh public domain too then? Yeah. That's crazy. And this year, Tigger finally becomes public domain, which means all of that IP is now public domain. Ooh. So we know the sequel is probably going to be Same voice actor too, which is crazy to me. Like Tigger's Revenge is going to be the next Blood and Honey movie. That's kind of Because they already said they're going to do a sequel. So like now that they have everyone, they could just do whatever they want. But uh, like (laughs) guys – it was 0.2 seconds that this fucking trailer like, got released after the first. And it's called <laughs> they've already Mickey, filmed it. It's called Mickey's Mouse. Yeah, they filmed it already. It's called Mickey's Mouse Trap. And it's about a guy dressed up as Mickey Mouse, like in a mask, killing people in an amusement or like in a uh, Dave and Buster's, essentially. Yeah, like a, a arcade. Yeah. It's essentially Five Nights at Freddy's location, but like with Scream kind of vibes um my camera is dying oh shit hold on guys one second i will be right back all right and we're back save that wow whoa dude saved it yo adam looked like fucking john wick over here changing out that battery <laughs> <laughs> look all right but not that cool take it easy so guys back to this fucking mickey mouse thing uh 
the fuck, dude? Dude. Like, why? What? Okay, why? what's your opinion why? of the trailer? Because I, 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 I know you know my opinion. The trailer? Fuck. I don't know what your opinion. I fucking don't like it. Dude, I don't like it either. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like the trailer. It's such bad acting right out of the trailer. And I mean, like, out of everything you could have done, even in the horror aspect of this property, mm-hmm. this was not the way to do it. This is not the way to go about it. Because, first off, you show who the killer is in the trailer. Right. Well, wait, what? The guy with the beard that's looking at the... Unless it's, like, trying to mis, like, mislead you or mislead something. You, which I don't feel like this is supposed to be a whodunit. No, I mean, you said Mickey and Minnie. There could be two killers here. That's what I'm thinking. I hope they don't rip they, off Scream. They, they could rip off Scream. I really hope they don't. Fucking, dude, it's public domain. I don't know. It's just... Well, Scream's not public domain. Well, I know, but the plot is. They can do whatever the fuck no, they want. Not. The plot's not public domain either. But the just, wait, it, what do you mean? The, everything has a ninety-five year copyright. Oh, I see. But I mean, the plot you could do similar things, but like you right. can't like copy and paste. Oh, uh, okay. Well, they can probably do similar. In twenty ninety-six, yeah. Oh, well, but um, six. That's crazy. Yeah. So, in in that aspect, like you, I mean, with Scream Seven also possibly being canceled or delayed because. The director just left, Christopher Landon, mm-hmm. um, that we talked about. So now with the director gone, Jenna Ortega gone, and Melissa Barre gone, it's just like, where the fuck are they going to go with this? And what are they going to do? And <clears throat> this movie looks like a mess. Guys, let us know down in the comments. Do you care for this Mickey Mouse movie? <laughs> I mean, should we? When does it come out? Do we know? Uh, Sometime this year. I don't think there was an actual release date put onto it. Because um, if the trailer came out that quick after public release, they have to have some shit like done already. Yeah, I possibly. I, I I'll watch it. Is it gonna be in theaters? <laughs> did you watch Blood and Honey? No, I didn't yet. Actually, I did. is that in theaters? No. Oh, well, it's right now on streaming on For, Prime. On Prime? Yeah. Oh, okay. I might I might pick it up just to watch it in the background or something. I mean. It's silly though. Like, can we can we just grasp the idea that like there's a lot of, if once these Disney movies become public domain, there's gonna be a horror version of it. Like, are we a fan of this well, as a comedic? We already know this is gonna happen because we know that the guy that created Blood and Honey is working on a Peter Pan one, right? Which also just which became is public. public domain. And then Tarzan's public year, too, I think. Tarzan is about to be or is yeah is, um, but like, well, at least the original is not the Disney version. No, that's the thing. That's like, what I mean. Because Disney is known... But, like, are we expecting a horrific type of, like, perspective? Might as well be, because look at what happened with Disney. Like, Walt himself... Like, I I still appreciate that this stuff is public domain, because it still gives people the option to... Be be creative. creative With different properties that have been around, because that's exactly what Walt did. Mm -hmm. Snow White... Uh, Sleeping Beauty, all these fairy tales. I mean, Tarzan, they don't own that. No, they, they don't, don't own that. And, and Hunchback and Notre tale. Dame, they don't own that either. All fairy tales, they yeah. just redid. And at some point, people just probably thought the same thing. Like, eventually, it's going to be a Disney fairy tale version of this. I think maybe it's just so, like, like meta or something. I don't know. Like, some. We're getting. Like, this has never one. been done before. We also have the. But also the Grinch movie that came out. The I movie. saw that. Or I didn't see it, but I yeah. heard of it. So there's the mean one as well. So, like, yeah, horror on these old IPs. Like, some of them I get. Like, you can't. Like, the thing is, is the ideas make sense. Peter Pan, uh, Winnie the Pooh. Kind, not Winnie the Pooh. No, dude. Winnie I the Pooh can is see weird. Mickey Mouse as a horror movie more so well, than. Well, like, because. I, see each I, I compared I just heard it. I compared it to um, Bendy and the Ink Machine, yeah, which is but, fucking Mickey Mouse. But, like, if you just heard just announcements, version. no trailers, and you heard Winnie the Pooh, Mickey Mouse horror movie, which one are you going to see first? You have to watch one first. Which one would you are you more interested in? Even if it's yeah, I get I guess Mickey, it but I'm, Mickey. I feel like I'm going to be more disappointed if I see Mickey after that trailer though. I don't know. Blood and Honey was pretty bad. The trailer was better. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you might appreciate this Mickey Mouse trailer. The I we have seen the Mickey Mouse trailer. No, I said you'll appreciate it. Oh, I see. Yeah, if the movie's just as bad as Blood and Honey is. Uh, I don't know the if I want bad for Blood and Honey. Like. What's what's a Disney movie that you would like to see in a horror genre? The original story it's based off of, Frozen. I don't wait. What's the original story? We talked about this. The I think. Snow Queen. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. if they go with that original story, where it's not like the sisters and the bullshit of that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Hans and all that other, or not Hans, but like Kristoff and all the other bullshit. Like, take away all that and just make it like. Honestly, and this is because I'm watching it recently. I kind of want to see Lilo and Stitch, in like a horror aspect. So Lilo and Stitch is getting remade to live action, and that just recently got announced. Let me guess, Maui is in there. Fucking Dwayne no. the Rock is in there. No, uh, it was leaked though that it's releasing this summer. Really, this summer? Yeah. On like, is on is it gonna be like a now. Lady and the Tramp where it's straight to Disney Plus? Yeah. Uh, not good. I don't know. They Lady and the Tramp original. is not good. I don't know if it's going to be not good because they have the original voice of Stitch. Cool. They have a couple of really good actors in it. Um, nothing's whitewashed. And it seems like we're going to get a first look sooner than later. Um, but I don't know. I don't feel like I have this plus Moana. Right. I feel like when it comes to live action stuff, I've become just more hesitant to shut it down so quickly with the – most recent things that have come out, like one, isn't it like else. weird? We're kind of going all over the place. Sorry, guys. It's been 22 years since the original Lilo and Stitch came out, so it's not. Yeah, 2002. Years. Yeah, right. And then, yeah, there's three movies and a fourth movie and a TV show. Three movies and a TV show. No, no, no. There's Stitch the movie, which introduces the TV show. But there's no Lilo. Four and movies. Three. Yes, there is Leroy and Stitch. That's not Lilo and Stitch three. That's Leroy and Stitch. It's a third installment, and it came out in, like, 2007, I think. All right. It's the last one that came out before the series ended. There's two seasons. Man, this guy is more into it than I know. I'm and there are 40 right. episodes each. <laughs> Let's see. Lilo and Stitch franchise. Films. It has films and television. One film. No, no, no. Lilo and Stitch. Right. First movie ever, 2002. Yeah. 2003. Stitch the movie. Okay. And then the TV show came out introducing the, the movie introduced the, the thing. Okay. I think it's 2004 was Le Stitch has a glitch. Five. 2005. And then Leroy and Stitch came out 2006 or seven. Okay. That's all. So you're counting the direct to video and television films. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So there's four movies though. Do you think that, okay. Do you think any of those movies were good? Oh, I'm mean, still in the middle of it, dude. <laughs> no, do you think any of the movies are the good? first one was great the second one is okay um stitch to the movie i, re I remember so a lot of the movie came out before stitch 2 right yeah but i'm going in a weird order okay it's like you don't watch star wars in order you know all right <laughs> what was that eye roll what are you talking about you don't well, watch you have you, you don't watch, watch one you can't watch leroy and stitch without are gonna, watching this are we gonna fight today are we Can gonna you fight? watch leroy without watching those series yeah you How? should be fine because Leroy is 627, yeah. not 626. Yeah, I know that. But the whole point you of the can series, watch, you can watch what do it. they do during the series? They explain it in the fu – yo, I'm going <clears> to <throat> – they explain it in the movie that Jamba – Jamba – Jabba? <laughs> Jamba Juice. <laughs> Jamba? Jamba, Jamba Kubia? Jamba the Hutt. <laughs> <laughs> like Jamba the Hutt, he makes 627 after the series. And they explain. They give you a rundown in the movie. You don't have Not to watch. Not of what the Lilo and Stitch have been doing. They haven't, which was collecting the other experiments. Also, which, they don't collect all of them, which is completely. They bullshit. don't collect all of them, but they do all have cameos in Lilo and Stitch. And if you don't know what they do or what their personalities are, they're kind what of what a pleasant surprise. There. Eh. What do you mean? Eh. I feel like Lilo and Stitch is would be lower received if you don't watch. The series. If you don't watch the series and just watch Leroy and Stitch, you'll probably be like, what the fuck's going on? It's I mean, I feel like you can on. watch Stitch the movie and then be fine. How do we get Hold here? on. <laughs> Here's a word from our sponsor. Thank you for BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you can just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to a therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's text, chat, phone, or video call. You can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. If your therapist isn't the right fit for any reason, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional cost. With BetterHelp, you can get to the same professionalism and quality you expect from in-office therapy, but with a therapist who is custom-picked for you. Any schedule and flexibility and at a more affordable price. So get 10% off your first month with at betterhelp.com slash nerdlocker. 
The link is going to be right down below in the description. Hi, Classic Horror Icon here. You're probably wondering, what's going on? Yeah? Well, let me ask you, do you like scary movies? Y yes Then boy do I have some news for you. There's this business called Seventh Inc. Founded by Matthew Johnson, a local artist in the Florida area who creates amazing clothing with his own original Halloween-inspired art. Not only do they have t-shirts, hoodies, and dresses, they have pins, magnets, hats, and more. Wow, these designs are actually pretty sick. Here, try one yourself. <laughs> oh shit, these are actually pretty nice. Check under the shirt. Uh, how, how did you get two shirts on me? Uh, what are you doing? I keep me the shirts. That's seventh ink, ladies and gentlemen. And if you follow the link below and use our code ANGEL at checkout, you'll get 10% off your entire order. That's A-N-G-E-L at checkout for 10% off your order. They even have the holiday designs right now that are to die for. Isn't that right, little buddy? Aw, not another one. And we're back with this motherfucker. Okay, so okay. Leroy and Stitch, <laughs> you can definitely survive just watching Stitch the movie and then going into Leroy. Because they explain, they give you like a, a little, like, like a little, a little dick piece of... <laughs> <laughs> they tell you about 627. They don't explain what Lilo and Stitch, those characters... I feel like they do. I feel like you're they wrong. Don't. I'm going to watch it. We'll watch it right after this. I'm not going to watch it right after this. <laughs> <laughs> um, or, just, how did we get here? I don't know. Other than that, the live action is coming out now. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's all right. In summer. <laughs> we're getting live action Lilo and Stitch, guys. So, I mean, what are some other animated ones that you'd be okay with live action? Uh, animated movies that... Done? Like in a horror genre or just in general? In general. Dude, honestly, Treasure Planet would be fucking dope. Treasure Planet would be really, That'd really That'd be cool. so good. That'd be like on par with like... Or Atlantis. Like, Atlantis would be so fun. That's like... Both of those are like Dune level like... That's like... That, money come, like what are you made. doing? Like what are you waiting for? I don't know. I feel like I... So I know this is getting done in live action. It's also a movie I wouldn't mind seeing as a horror movie. Hercules. As a horror movie? Hades. He stuff. he has a like a horror like, aspect. Pain and panic, like that'd be cool. But like, so I'm oh, not you're, saying uh, maybe, horror like slasher. I'm just saying dark, scary, blood. That's what makes horror. Horror does not mean there's like. So do you mean do you mean like a Hades movie or like a Hercules movie? It could still be Hercules. You can make it darker. Because Hercules is mostly because about he's like supposed to die at some point too, like and get crushed. Like there's so much going on with him in the animated movie that you redo that into horror but that's again going by the animated movie which won't happen in our lifetime i also also watched that recently it's like, a good movie i i also watched it recently. really good yeah so like in our lifetime we won't see that version of the story done hercules is ip or a uh, public domain you can easily <laughs> use it but you can't use that version of it. but right. if they were gonna live action use a story or a horror movie i think hercules is a good part to do that that'd or be kind of neat Notre Dame. hunchback would be dope but as a live action we know that hercules is coming it should be i think it was supposed to be guy there's Ritchie. so many different fucking versions of hercules already though yeah. i think guy Ritchie was supposed to be directing it but i don't know if he's still doing it there was also talks about aladdin too uh Mina okay Masao that played aladdin said that there hasn't been any talks especially after the strike so he's just not entirely sure that's gonna happen that's yet. the guy who plays aladdin yeah so they were planning to do it after the strikes, nothing has been said. Mm. So I don't know if that means they're going to push it or not. But uh, we also, like, if I, because we've had live actions before. Like, that's the thing. We're not new to this. This is, everyone's saying, like, oversaturation. But in the 90s, we had 101 Dalmatians yeah. and 101 Dalmatians, too. Right. Like, I mean, we got live Hunchback was before. made in black and white before Disney no, made it. Yeah, but, but I'm like, just saying, like, live actions of the animated stuff. Yeah, been there's been a lot of For it. years before now, it's just nowadays they're just pumping them. Because they bring in. Not, they bring in, dude. But we're not new to it. And, like, they've done Cinderella. They've done Alice in Wonderland. They've done Sleeping Beauty. Um, They haven't done Snow White, which is also supposed to be coming out soon. That's another Oh, one. shit. That oh yeah that's that right i remember yeah 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 so we do know snow white's coming out so we're getting a couple more other things and we have gal gadot playing evil or the evil queen in that mm. 
So I don't, we'll, know, I don't know if I can picture her as a bad guy. We'll see where they're going with that because I've been watching Once Upon a Time, so like obviously I'm like thinking of the Evil Queen and her backstory there. Yeah, like, they'll probably give this version of the Queen some kind of new backstory mm-hmm. to tailor to the movie because they did the same thing with Maleficent. Like they're gonna yeah. develop their villains. Cruella is another great live action movie. And that one's actually pretty good. And I love. I did I like that one. Sequel for that one. That one's pretty neat. But like I think when it comes to this, like with Snow White, you give some more backstory to the Evil Queen. You give some more backstory to Charming. As well, don't mm-hmm. just let him just be a random prince. Like, at least develop your characters. Right. So it's not just a random guy kissing someone in the woods. You know sweet. something? I tried watching The uh, Little Mermaid recently. I couldn't finish it. I had trouble. Really? I haven't finished it yet. I also rewatched that recently. I, I, I don't know why. I it's just so. Little Mermaid. I rewatched Hercules and I rewatched Lilo and Stitch. Are you rewatching the shit that I'm watching? Because we're on the same fucking account. He uses my account, guys. You're rewatching my shit. I am. Don't watch Kronk. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> and then I rewatch the Goofy movie. That would be dope. That would be so interesting As to a see. Horror movie? <laughs> N- no. Power <laughs> Seeing eye to eyes Dude, a little bit that different. That so fucking good, though. Oh, my God. Um. Okay, what... So, to end this out, we're going to say what's our favorite live-action adaptation so far and our least favorite or slash hated. Oh, can we get a list? You have a list over there? Yeah. Of the the live at adaptations ones. And then what was the second thing? The least favorite. Least favorite. Um Okay, so Oh wow. man. All right. Is there that many? I Okay, Cinderella. Right. Dumbo. Yep. Lady and a Tramp. Yep. Pinocchio. Uh was that by Disney? Yeah. No, they did a live action Pinocchio. Tom Hanks was just pet. Oh, yeah, you're right. Peter Pan and Wendy that we did not oh, see. That counts as Disney, too? It was on Disney Plus. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> the Little Mermaid. Uh huh. Christopher Robin. Yeah. Alice in Wonderland. Wait. What year? 2010. Oh, that one. We're talking about live action. I know. I didn't yeah. realize it was started in 2010. No, I'm just going down all the live actions. I didn't realize there was that. Then 101 Dalmatians, Cruella. Yeah. Lilo and Stitch is coming out. Hercules is coming out. The Sword in the Stone is coming out. Jesus fucking Snow White's Christ. coming out. Bambi's coming out. Holy Robin shit, Hood's dude. coming out. Hunchback's coming out. All right, all right. Stop. Aristocats. Stop, stop, stop. They're redoing James and the Giant Peach. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I already know, I already, I know my answer. You missed um, a couple, I think. Sorcerer's Apprentice. What? Yeah, it's a remake of Fantasia. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, guys. What is sorry, happening? Sorry, sorry. Right okay, now? I'm going to go down in order. Jungle Book, 100, 102 Dalmatians. Alice in Wonderland. Okay. Uh, The Sorcerer's Apprentice. Maleficent. Cinderella. The Jungle Book. Alice Through the Looking Glass. Beauty and the Beast. Christopher Robin. Dumbo. Aladdin. Lion King. Maleficent 2. Lady and the Tramp, Mulan, Cruella, Pinocchio, Peter Pan, Little Mermaid. Upcoming. I'll, we'll talk about that. No, I don't want that. <laughs> Hold on. I'll do some highlights of that in a second. So what do you think? Um, least favorite, Lady and the Tramp. Okay. Trash. Most. Mm, I want to say what I like the most. Probably Aladdin. Okay. I'm going to say most, Cruella. Least, probably say Cinderella. Oh, Cinderella is not good either. Coming out though, guys. Mufasa, the sequel or the prequel to The Lion King is coming what out. What the fuck? That's coming out at the end of next year. <laughs> With James Earl Jones coming back, I'm pretty sure. It's like a million now. And then Snow White, Moana, Lilo and Stitch, Hercules, Bambi, Sword and Stone, Robin Hood, Aristocrats, and a third Maleficent film. Jesus. I didn't see the second one, actually. That's the one with, like, her kid or something? Yeah. The second one? The ones that they scrapped was a Genie spinoff movie and then Pocahontas. What? Mm, maybe Red Tape? Uh, I'd be like, ah, ah, ah. It Don't says, touch it. Pocahontas would not be remade as a live-action remake in the near future. According to Alan Menken, remaking Pocahontas would likely be impossible due to modern sensibilities. Yep. Yep, Menken further suggested in 2023 that a planned live-action remake of The Hunchback of Notre Dame, uh, titled simply Hunchback, was announced in 2019 and is still, oh, and was stalled for similar reasons. Wait, why was it stalled? 
same reasons as Pocahontas. Because of what, like Esmeralda? I don't know, whatever modern thing. What is on, happening like... in the world? Are we not keeping up with news? I mean, it doesn't matter Pocahontas, about Pocahontas, keep... I get. It doesn't matter about keeping up with news. It but matters like... on the fact that like a lot of those Disney movies were pretty They were pretty bad, but they can change that shit. Dumbo? They remade Dumbo. You know how racist Dumbo <laughs> is? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> those crows, dude? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> and we're stumped on Pocahontas. They redid Peter Pan. Dude. We have to go. I'm going to get mad. We have to go. All right. Uh, where can they find you? You can find me on the Sphere 21 on uh, Twitch or Instagram, except for uh, TikTok. I am on Oliver Con VA. You can find me at AMR Photography. You can find the studio at Archangel Studios Official. And you can find this podcast at Nerd Locker Podcast on Spotify and YouTube. See you guys. Dude, what the fuck, man? Are you remake Dumbo? Dumbo.